Hello everyone. Welcome back to our lecture series of Gate in Data Science and Artificial Intelligence. This is section number seven. In the previous lectures, we have discussed about what is DFS, what is BFS, that is depth first search, breadth first search, what is the difference between DFS and BFS. So we have discussed this. So in this lecture, we are going to discuss our third algorithm of an of an informed search technique that is depth limited search. Okay. So it is similar to DFS only, but only one condition is there. So what is that? Let us discuss. Now, what is the limitation of DFS? So what is the limitation of DFS? Limitation of DFS. Suppose if our search space is infinite, right? Suppose our search space is infinite, then we will not get the solution, right? We will may or may not get solution, right? So, what we call for such things that is incomplete, right? So, solution is incomplete. This algorithm is incomplete. Then the search space is infinite, right? So, what happens in DFS? Right? So, suppose this is our a tree and we have this infinite like this like this like this we have infinite search space right now suppose this is my goal state suppose this is my initial state right and this is my goal state now what happens in dfs dfs follows which algorithm dfs follows last in first out principle that is lifo right now according to this principle what happens suppose this is our initial state and it tried to follow this particular node. It will try to explore this particular node. Then, then in that case, what happened? It will keep following this particular path. Okay. Then it will explore this node, then this node, then this node. Okay. So if there is infinite search space, so there may be possibility that it will never backtrack to the unexplored node. Okay. This that is this particular level. If our search space is infinite, then in that case we will not get the solution. Also, if our search space is having some loop, then in that case also we will not get the required solution because it will uh, keep following that one particular path and may get stuck in that particular loop. Right? So we will not get the solution in the case of DFS if the search space is infinite. Right? We may or may not get the solution. Then how to overcome this particular issue? So for that we have depth limited search. So what we do? We put the limit of search space. Okay. So in the DLS that is depth limited search, what we do? We put search limit in our algorithm. We put our search limit say L. Okay. Suppose we have infinite search space that is infinite depth. Then what we do? We restrict our search algorithm to particular limit say L in this case, right? Now this is my level one. This is my level two. This is our level three, and this will be my level four, right? That is depth equals to four. Now in this case, what happened? Same DFS will follow this particular algorithm LIFO. It will come to this particular node, but it will not go beyond this particular limit L because we already fixed this limit, right? Then in that case, it will not explore the remaining node. It will backtrack to the previous node like this. In this way, it will explore all the nodes and will get the required goal state. So that's how DLS works. Only thing is that we are putting the search limit to L. Okay, in this case, so if we put search limit L will get the solution if exist right if solution exists then we'll get the solution right if exist or otherwise it will get terminate right but the thing is that will not get the optimal solution right will not get the optimal solution why it is so now here you can see there are two cases suppose first l is greater than d now what is l what is d here so L is search limit. So we are putting our uh, DFS a particular limit that you cannot go beyond this particular limit. Right? You cannot search a node after this particular limit. That is search limit L. Now what is D here? D is basically a depth of goal state. Right? So if you take this example, this is our goal. So D equals to 3 and L equals to 4. Right? And in that case, what happens? L is greater than Depth, right. So in this case, we'll get the required solution because this is our limit and our goal state is present at L3 only. So it will 
try to explore this particular path and it will backtrack the previous unexplored node. Finally, it will find this particular solution, right? So when, right? So when L is greater than D, then it is complete, right? This completeness, it is, it follows completeness because we'll get the required solution, right? So we'll get the solution, but not optimal solution, but not an optimal solution, right? Same in the case of DFS also, like finite search space. But there is second thing. Suppose D is greater than L. Now in that case, what happened? Right? Now suppose this is my goal state. Okay, this is my goal set. Say D equals to 10. And we are putting the limit D equals to 4. In that case, our algorithm will never will never come to this particular node because we already put the limit. And in this case, we'll get will not get any solution. Will not get any solution. And it will terminate. An algorithm will terminate. Why it will terminate? Because it will explode all the nodes because we have put the limit and then and at the last, if it didn't find the goal, then it will terminate, right? So keep a note of these two points. If L is greater than D, then it is it follows complete net, but the solution will not be an optimal solution. But D is greater than L, that is depth of goal state is greater than the search limit. And in that case, we will not get the solution and it will terminate, right? Now, a couple of things to note. That is, first thing is time complexity, right? Time complexity. And second thing is space complexity, right? So, it is similar to DFS on here. Right? So, in DFS, what happened? Time complexity is order is b to the power d. But in this case, our limit is L, right? So, in this case, order will be b to the power L. And here space complexity order will be B into L. So in DFS, it's B into D and B to the power D. But in the case of depth limited search, we are putting the limit to a search algorithm. Okay, so that search algorithm cannot go beyond this particular limit. So that's why the time complexity and space complexity will be like this. Okay, so there is nothing to explore in this particular technique. Only thing is that we are putting some limit to DFS. That's it. Okay, rest of the thing is same and just keep uh, note of this two important point okay when l is greater than d and when d is greater than l okay so just an overview of what we have discussed today so first what is dfs is dfs an algorithm for traversing or searching a tree of graph data structures which starts from a root node and explores as far as possible along each branch before backtracking right but what happens in the case of depth limited search DLS is a modification of DFS that restricts the depth of exploration. This is an important point. It uses a depth limit parameter to determine how deep into a tree or graph it can explore. Yes, right. And this is the algorithm for uh, DLS. So, like initialize the search with a root node, perform a depth first traversal with a depth limited to a predefined level. Like during algorithm only, we set our the limit, right? When the depth limit is reached or goal state is found, then we can stop the search. But if goal state is not found, backtrack to previous node and continue the search from there. So repeat the step 2 and 4 until the goal is reached or entire space is, space is explored. So it's similar to a DFS. Only thing is that we have predefined level. Okay. That is we have predefined limit here. So that's it. Like both the things are same. Right. So just uh, keep note of those two important points what we have discussed, right? So those two points When L is greater than D what happens and when D is greater than L what happens? Okay, so that's the key takeaway from this particular video Okay, and one more important thing I want to tell like we already like uh, we already started DBMS and data warehousing Lecture and we also started AI lecture series, right? So please join our telegram channel. So join telegram channel. So I'm going to come up with a test series. Okay. So test series. So that will be a subject wise test series. Okay. So that will be a subject wise test series. So like if you feel you want only the test series for AI course, so you can take the test series for AI course. Okay. So that will be at minimum, that will be at minimal cost. So don't worry about it. So yeah. I will keep you updated, but yeah, you can join our telegram channel. I will share the PDF of this particular lecture on the telegram channel. Okay. So you can join that. Thank you everyone.